John, would you mind uh, letting everybody know we do have forms for anybody who would like to join? Yeah, just yeah. Minutes, speak up. All right. Anybody who's interested in joining Walls can either do so on our website or we have forms and different levels of membership. And if you know anybody that, you know, water affects, as we've heard, it affects us all. We'd love to have you join our organization. And, and our organization, and since I'm now the treasurer and know where the money goes, um, goes to things like postage stamps and um, uh, paper and I mean, basic supplies. It's a volunteer organization. We don't have any staff. Uh, we don't have an office. We don't even have a post office box that we're paying for. So our costs are completely directed to action items. So your money will be used for actions. Well, and things like we're a member of the Georgia River Network that costs the few bucks. We're a member of the National River Network today. And we need to pay for uh, liability insurance for things like uh, this was the finish line at the paddle race. You know, basically, basic expenses. So your money will go to good use. John, I'd like to make a comment that if you're not a member of Walls, you should join. I was in the room with 350 paddlers on Paddle Georgia, and Joe Cook asked everybody to raise their hand who was a member of the watershed group back home. These were people from all over the country, particularly the eastern half of the country, but all over the country. And less than 70 people raised their hand out of those 350. And he basically told them that is intolerable. He told them in a polite way, you should be a member of your watershed group at home if you care about what. Now, I'd love for you to be a member of Flint River, but it's more important if you live in this watershed to be a member of this watershed group. Thank you. The Paddle Georgia 